I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Christmas biscuits using a plain biscuit recipe. For this recipe, you're going to need 175 grams of self-raising flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, 100 grams of margarine that's suitable for baking with, and 100 grams of caster sugar. For the glazed icing, you're going to need 100 grams of icing sugar and a few drops of either your favourite essence or a few drops of your favourite food colouring. The first thing you'll need to do is wipe down your surfaces with a warm soapy cloth and then spray down your surfaces with an antibacterial spray. I'm using a fan oven and today you need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade. What you're going to do now is you're going to add your softened margarine to your sh caster sugar. That's 100 grams of caster sugar with 100 grams of your margarine that's suitable for baking with. And then what you're going to do is you're going to squash using the back of your spoon against the caster sugar until it's light and fluffy. self-raising flour and stir. You could add flavourings such as grated orange or some um, lemon zest. If you wanted to add something like cocoa powder, for example if you were to add 25 grams of cocoa powder, you need to keep the ratios the same by taking out 25 grams of your self-raising flour. You could, of course, just speaking um, spice-wise, you could add a half a teaspoon of mixed spice since they're Christmas biscuits, just to give it that flavour. It does take a little while because what we're trying to do is warm up the margarine so that it wants to stick to the remainder of your green ingredients. You can also add half a teaspoon of my cinnamon, give it a stir. Okay, so I'm just using my hands now. I'm going to squeeze together my dough. see the warmth of my hand is making the dough come together. If you're really struggling you could add a drop of warm water but only add a little at a time because otherwise you'll make your mixture too wet. So I'm just going to add one tablespoon of warm water and I'm going to use my hands to pull it together into a dough. If your dough is too wet, add some flour. If your dough is too dry, add a few teaspoons of warm water. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is flour your surfaces using a flour dredger or your hands. You only want a small amount because you don't want to alter the ratio of wet to dry ingredients. You can flour the top of your dough. So using your rolling pin, 
lightly press down on the surfaces. Start sticking how you'll do again. your pound around the edge just so you can get that even surface or you can do it by eye. Once you're happy with the thickness you're going to use your cutter so I'm going to be using several shapes today so I'm going to be using Christmas tree, a reindeer, a teddy bear Santa's sack and a star. Don't twist your shapes because this will cause some unevenness when you pick it up. And then what you can do is you can flour your fish slice, pick up your dough and put it onto your greased baking tray. So flour your fish slice and take all of these pieces away and then your fish slice can go underneath your shape. Then gather your dough again together and re-roll out your biscuit dough. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, shapes. So I've used uh, a few, quite a few shapes, so what, but I've made sure they're the same thickness. Now they're going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook and they might actually be quite, they might be soft as they come out, but you need to know that they dry as they cool down they harden okay so what we're looking for is not necessarily the color to have changed but maybe for the texture to have changed just as slightly now talking about shapes you'll notice that i've put all my shapes together in a similar order the reason being for this is because it might be that after 10 minutes that all of the Christmas trees are done, but the Santa stockings aren't. So therefore, I need to make sure that I can take them all off together and allow them to cool on a cool rack. So I'm going to place them in the oven. Okay, so the oven's going to place them into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. on the middle and the top so that I can see what's going on. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. So I'm going to take them out now. So you can have a look at them. Just pull out the shelf if you're struggling to grab hold of the tray. be a little bit harder and you'll notice on my Santa stocking there is some browning around the edges so what I'm going to do is allow them to cool before adding my glazed icing. So I've divided my 100 grams of icing sugar up into five bowls 
uh, approximately there's about a tablespoon of icing sugar in each one. I've got myself a cocktail stick um, for each of my food colourings and also I've got myself some water on standby in case I need to add it to make it more runny and I've also got separate teaspoons in order to make sure that there's no cross contamination. So I'm just going to add one teaspoon of water to each one. I forgot to say, I've also got um, a white as well, so I'm adding one teaspoon. So mix, got my white here, I'm just giving it a stir until it comes to a stiff paste. Okay, so it's a good idea if you wear gloves for this, just so that you don't end up getting food dye onto your hands. So you need to give it a little bit of a scoop in order to get your colouring. You don't need a lot, it literally is a tiny amount like that will change the colouring. So that's my brown, I'll put that to one side. idea to loosen make sure that your biscuits are loose enough to come off the tray and if they're not you can always use a palette knife just to get underneath right okay so I've got my stars ready on my grease proof and I'm just gonna pour a little bit on just to show you so put it on the middle and it will start to gravity and take hold, hopefully.
place your ice biscuits in the fridge for approximately 20 minutes just to harden them up a little bit before adding any other colour. 20 minutes and I just had a look at them just to find out if the surface had changed and it has. It has hardened so what I need to do now is I need to do some icing. Now you can either fashion yourself an icing bag out just using the corner of a bag like so. I've got the sharpest scissors in the world. Okay. okay, and what I've done is I've got the corner like so, and I can, if I wanted to put a little bit of, for example, Rudolph's nose, I could put a little bit in there like so. This is just for doing small amounts. Okay, and you'll notice now that all the icing is to the corner. So if I turn my bag, like so, so I've got pressure on that corner only, and then I can use a teeny a teeny teeny bit off the corner okay and I should whoop, and I should be able to give him a nose down it that way okay the other thing I can do is I could be giving myself a bit of a Christmas trimmings on top so I'll put my white on top of my red because it will sit now or I've done this one a different way so I've done a stripe of white and then the rest of it is red where I put it in the fridge or I could give myself some snow on top of my tree then of course I would need to put that again into the fridge just to harden. I could go with some edible glitter because that will now stick. do my decoration is fashion myself a bit of a piping bag so I've got myself a square and I'm literally going to comb draw it into a cone so it's a nice tight cone you could tape it if you wanted to just make this a tiny bit smaller a little bit too big. Add. Again, squash it down so that it wants desperately to come out. You could fold over your bag like so, just to stop it wanting to come out. 
and you can see that I've already created a nozzle I'm doing that thin bit okay so I can 